Hey, this is Professor Christine Fair. Um, like everyone else, I am hunkered down thanks to the uh, corona apocalypse. So the Security Studies program asked us to make a video about what it's like to be working at home. Actually, I decided that you don't want to see that video because it really isn't pretty. Instead, what I thought I would do is give you a usable skill that will get you through this very troubling times. So here's the background to what I'm gonna give you. A few months ago, this Security Studies program had a covert auction and students bid on opportunities to have dinner with professors, get a book from a professor, maybe even an autograph book. So I didn't think that was terribly interesting. So what I put on the auction block was crafting with Chrissy, an evening of making shot wheels and bourbon. So since the person who won this bid isn't gonna be able to do this anytime soon, I went ahead and selected some hot wheels and shot glasses for him and assembled the shot wheels. And I'm gonna walk you through how you can do it too. The first thing that you need is a hot wheel, standard issue hot wheel. Target has these for like a buck. So when you're going there to try and hoard toilet paper, but they're not letting you do that anymore, you can swing on over to the toy selection and pick yourself up a couple of very cool Matchbox cars. Now there's a couple things about selecting Matchbox cars. Um, if you're gonna pick a car like this, sometimes it's tempting to put your shot glass right here and it's gonna look kind of cool. Except it actually doesn't really work because the center of this gravity means that it's gonna tip over. So when you're looking for, the, but I'm gonna show you how to fix this. When you're looking for the ideal shot wheel car, you're gonna be, especially if you've never done this before, once you become a pro like yours truly, you can pretty much uh, MacGyver any shot wheel you want. By the way, this is not what it looks like, it's actually just water because I don't put tequila in these, I just put bourbon. Okay, so the ideal shot wheel is gonna be a car that's got a lot of real estate on the top, preferably flat. And of course, you need your shot glasses. Use your favorite shot glass, go to Amazon, buy them, they're, they're very inexpensive. The next thing that you're gonna need is the E6000. The E6000 can fix just about anything, probably even my bumper after my car accident earlier this week. So what you're going to do is you're going to put, and I'm going to show you. So I'm not with this flatbed pickup truck, though it is very tempting. I'm not going to do this. I'm actually going to do this. And I'm going to put a small blob. And what do I mean by a small blob? It's a really good question. Um, put an amount that is pea-sized. Not the American giant pea, you know those cute little French peas that you use when you're cooking something fancy? That's the pea that I'm talking about. And you're gonna let it sit here for a few minutes to cure. And the reason for that is you actually want some viscosity to set up with the glue. Um, it actually makes adhering the glass to the car much easier. And so while I wait for this to cure, because I'm gonna make this in real time, I'm gonna show you some of the other cars that I made for the winner. He knows his name, I'm not gonna out him here. This was a somewhat of a challenging one, right? So you this very cute van, but what you don't see, but I can show you here, is that it had a faux sunroof. Well, this isn't really a problem. You just add more goop and let it cure. And the idea is that you have enough goop that you can create enough surface area that the glass will stick. Now, speaking of MacGyvering, I saw this and I thought, Yuri absolutely must have this. But you can actually see, looking at it, that there's not a lot of surface area to stick glass. So what I did, and you can see it through here, um, there are these things that are supposed to be hoses. Um, there was enough surface area that I could glue 
a Pakistani rupee coin, sorry Pakistan, it's what I happen to have, probably could have used a dime, but a dime was just a little bit smaller than I, what I was looking for. After I adhered the rupee coin, I could then use that as the surface area to adhere the shot glasses. Um, tip about these, don't put them in the dishwasher. The E6000 is really, really robust, but I wouldn't uh, put these in the dishwasher for, for so many reasons. This is another one that I made. Um, again, it's very tempting to do the, the put it on the flatbed. Um, you can try that, but just remember there's gonna be liquid in the car and only do it at the center of gravity make sense. Here's another fun one. And this actually is the kind of car that is also ideal. You can see that it mostly has a flat roof. It has a lot of real estate. And also it's got a really cool design on top. And then finally, don't be weirded out if you like a car that doesn't have a flat roof. What you can see that I've done here is that I've attached the glass to the top of the car at an angle. But what you don't see is that I'm actually leveraging physics of this alleged piston and so it gives it just a little bit support. Let these things dry. Um, do the hang of it. Sometimes I let them dry upside down. The key is that everything is perfectly center. Once you have the car in place you don't want to be wigging, wiggling it around much. All right so let's take and I'm going to do something really fun with this car because I actually already screwed it up uh, trying to stick it on the back. So I'm a big fan of learning lessons. Uh, revisions is the Really, it, it's, it's the fruit of life next to bourbon, drunk in a shot car. So I'm gonna take my, my uh, shot glass, and I've got my goop of the E6000, and I'm gonna stick it right on top, right in the center. And I remember in the eighth grade and you did uh, biology, and you, you put the cover slide on the slide and things sort of like gooped out. That's what you're gonna be looking for. You wanna see the goo spread out if you put too much, then you're gonna have a bunch of goop hanging out um, in your shot wheel. And that just makes it still functional. It just doesn't look as good. Now, I've got a lot of real estate back here. And what I think would make this look absolutely spectacular is if I were to put a Diplodocus in the back of the pickup truck. So I'm going to pretty much do what I did for the car. I'm gonna put some E6000 in the foot, the uh, flatbed of the pickup truck, trying to be somewhat abstemious in the use of the E6000. Um, if you find yourself going a little bit overboard with the junk by accident, um, because I'm kind of a crafty gal, I always keep, um, my acetone nearby. And the acetone will allow you to sort of clean it up. Um, just be careful with the brush that you use because acetone will dissolve certain kinds of brushes. So now that I've got my car here, my husband's gonna be passing in the background. Do not worry, he is closed. Right, Jeffrey, you're closed? He's closed. From the top up. From the top up, yeah, you already saw that. He's, he's completely closed. So we're gonna take our Diplodocus. And by the way, um, what I love about Diplodocus is, is that, well, it's a really cool word to say. I also think that the color of this particular Diplodocus really goes well with this truck. Now the key with said attachment is to make sure that you have some of the E6000 on the body of the Duplodocus. And what that's actually gonna do is allow some of the, uh, the physics of bonding to help the Duplodocus adhere to the glass. If we just had a freestanding Duplodocus in the back of the truck, I think we might have some challenges. So what I'm gonna do is that I've got my Duplodocus. My Duplodocus is leaning on my shot glass. Actually, it's really cute. It looks like my Diplodocus is nuzzling my shot glass. Adorable, completely adorbs. All right, that concludes this week's lesson of crafting with Chrissy. Stay hydrated, wash your hands, don't hoard toilet paper, 
And why drink water when there's bourbon available? 